everyone and anyone. Welcome to Aldera. Um, I am Seldom Sable uh, here in this beautiful landscape of Minecraft. Now this is a custom map um, made by a group called, let me check my notes, Parlon. Parlon. Yep, yeah, Parlon. Where they're actually, this group is a um, map building group, and they have made multiple maps that is going to be an entire globe. And this is their first continent. Um, they release updates for them quite regularly, and uh, Walking through this, um, or flying through it in my uh, testing of each map I looked at, this was quite beautiful. There is some wonderful mountains in the uh, far north, ice-capped, beautiful lakes, tall custom trees. As you can see, this is a custom birch tree. And um, sadly, there is no natural spawning villages or structures or anything like that so coming across uh, villages to trade with and get um, enchantments is going to kind of be hard i do have a um, few ideas of how i can get enchantments in the future but i'm not so sure exactly what to do with it yet but i do know that um well, this uh, episode I want to make a shelter. I want to uh, start mining and maybe if we're lucky get our first diamond. There is some natural spawning ores on here. There is also um, natural, like a uh, nether. We can go to the nether and when we're ready to dive deep, I'll uh, make sure we build that teleporter. Um, nether portal and go but I do have a data pack on as well I don't know how much I like it I'm kind of playing with it what it does is the more you walk over some blocks the likely it is just to make a walking path um, Nothing huge, nothing dramatic in differences or nothing like that. But uh, I do like the thought of having walking paths. Kind of showing where I've been, well, walking pr uh, very actively and everything. Now, we... The point of the series is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, it's kind of just a, oh, it's already nighttime. That's not good. I don't have a shelter. The point of the series, as I was saying, is to just build our own civilizations up and kind of explore this uh, world. I um, personally have never been on this map. It, like I said, it is very beautiful flying around in my test and uh, just seeing what the custom content is. Mm, let's turn the jumping off. Auto jump. And it would just be a good time. this is something you're interested in, uh, you know, just leave a uh, like on the Sovo or um, the video. Sovo. Leave a like on the video. It does help um, if you don't know YouTube algorithm basically shows how active people engage in your um, videos and the more they engage, the more they get viewed. Um, and this being my first video, I don't anticipate, you know, a million likes or anything. Um, but it does help me. It's kind of 
not a dream, I would say, but YouTube's something that I've always kind of enjoyed myself, and I figured I should just give back to the community. Um, I watch a lot of Minecraft videos myself, I, I mean, and I just want to uh, make some content, enjoy community, um, enjoy people, comments, and uh, just see if it's a knack, see if it's something I enjoy and want to stick to. You'll, and your likes go a long way into supporting this. Um, but back to the plans of the actual game. Like I said, I'm going to be making some civilizations throughout the map. Uh, I, and part of the reason I picked a custom map was... I don't think Minecraft's generation is necessarily the most fantas uh, fantasy um, driven thing or even natural looking in a lot of aspects. And I just wanted to create something that is, um, well, a fantasy world. So I found a map that may support that i think it will and um have dwarves and elven cities and all these other things now i'm going to be honest i am not the best builder in the entire world but i do enjoy it and i just uh like i said just want to give back to the community that has um, given me multiple thousands of millions of videos to watch and enjoy and uh, if one person enjoys my videos then um, I may be do doing something right and no one enjoys it well that's okay too um, now in the idea of finding or making new civilizations and everything. Uh, I do enjoy making storylines and fantasy stuff up. So when we're building these cities, I will be making stories of how the city got developed or a war that the, the, the city dwellers went to and, you know, just make lore up as we go. Um, but I do need to start off somewhere, uh, where I'm not so sh certain, but, um, somewhere. Um, I, I think the best option to start off would be having a, uh, race or a, um, idea of cultural that we would want to uh, first try and build on so dwarves human elves so on um, and I'm going to leave that up to you guys um, if you want to see me fail at building a dwarven city in the plains that we started out at um, I can do that, but if you want to see me try and build some elvish city or human city, uh, that's what I'll try and do. Um, it'll be interesting though, I think, seeing how the city develops, um, my building skills develop over time, and just seeing, you know, in, in a few episodes, maybe even, um, just how it changed um, I don't know how long this series will go I don't know how short this series will be um, it's just kind of playing by ear uh, I will be probably developing other videos in the meantime um, 
and we'll just grow the channel, grow our community, grow the video and the community, the civilizations within Aldora as we go as well. Um, so that's kind of my game plan for uh, this civil, the, the world we live in, and uh, just kind of playing by ear. So I'm kind of bummed that there is very little ore so far in the Sobo. Now, to be honest, I kind of expected it being a custom map, but I was hoping after we got below a certain point that the, the ore would start coming up more naturally. Um, but so far, that doesn't seem to be the case. So, maybe we'll get lucky and find a cave. Yes, there are um, sizable caves in this map. Um, and if not, maybe I'll find bedrock. Who knows? What will we find first? Will we find the bedrock or will we find a cave? Dun dun dun! Suspense, trauma. Well, um, at this point, I don't know. So, I don't think anyone wants to just watch a person mine in Minecraft. That's never fun. So, I'll, um, find something good and we'll click you back in then. Welcome back. Um, so I have not really found anything but a bunch of coal. I had to go make some more pickaxes, but nothing, nothing fun. Um, though, as you can see, I am at uh, Y11, which in this case basically is the plane, the level you mine for diamonds, if uh, you were not aware. The reason being is um, at uh, Y10 is where lava pools naturally spawn. So this way you don't mine into a lava pool, but over it. Um, don't still, uh, the, the generation doesn't seem like as uh, natural as generic Minecraft, but it does seem that you do get the ores that you need eventually. So we're just going to keep uh, mining until we find some iron. Oh, speak of the devil. And maybe because uh, we're at Y11, we can find some good old diamonds. Now, wouldn't that be nice? But till I get a handful of iron or other ore, I'll... Um, Guess I'll just make another cut here and just see where we get in a few minutes. Okay, so I was just doing my thing, mining down the, well, where you left me. Found some iron, cooked it up, saw it, found some cows on the surface, uh, had to eat. So just pretty generic things, but when I was mining straight along, I found this uh, opening. And I figured this might be something you want to explore with me. Looks like we got some gold. It looks like there's a skeleton that's going to maybe kill me. Unless I'm good. Am I good? Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I good? Oh, I, I'm just good enough. That's what that is. And now a zombie. Well, after a skeleton. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy looks like we got some gold it'll make me a fancy helmet that does nothing for me um best gold can do is make a good looking clock uh well correction gold now can help in the nether with the um new types of pikmin so that's pretty nifty 
Looks like we got some coal. This stuff, this stuff though, this is gold right here. Iron looking gold. Um, it's probably the most valuable thing I'm carrying right now. Ooh, there's some lapis. Just kind of looking for uh, diamonds. Um, and you know the dr oh speak of the devil and here it is let me get this zombie real quick okay boom number one we're going to hold that here actually I'm going to drop it No. Okay. Two, three. Now we'll take that and we'll we'll frame that later on. It will it will be a story to tell the grandchildren. It will be a story with telling how one soul became rich. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that? Another diamond. Man, I am hitting the mother load, it seems. No, 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 not, not today. Not today, Satan. Okay, we will fight him. I know, it's risking a lot. Okay. Oh, there's two. There, oh, there's three. No, nope. not risking that. No, nope. no. Nope. I would not get my first diamond and my first death in the same freaking episode. You hear me? Not doing it. Nope. Okay. It seems that I need to make more torches. Get this coal real quick. We'll go upstairs. I will not die to the skeletons of the depths. I will take my treasures and run. But I still have feet to run with. And I still have breath in my soul. Let's get some of this. Uh... You think he's still over here? Oh, that's a creeper. That's even worse than a skeleton sometimes. I'm out. Yep, this is this is too much, too much, too much. See ya. Let's get out of there. I mean, sixteen iron, four diamonds. I think I'm doing pretty, pretty good. This is, <clears throat> this is lit. What can I say? You know, it's just the best day ever yeah yeah i just did that we're going to just uh clear out some of this coal i mean you can never have too much coal can you can you i say no i say no now with this um wonderful success and the fact that I have no food, I feel like the thing I need to focus on now is getting a food supply, maybe a bed. I mean, OK. 
because that will be um, kind of important. I mean, I could hide in this hut every night. That 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 could be a thing. Oh, we're going to take this. We're going to make sticks. Lots and lots of sticks. We're going to put it around. Put the leather in the center. Okay. Now we will do art. Ba -ba -ba! There we go. The first diamond. S yeah. Okay. Everything else can go in here. Going to take this, put it in here. We'll put that in there. That doesn't go in there. I do got some of this. So is it? Oh, thank goodness. You know what? There's no point in wasting those bones. They can't do us any good in here. What they can do us though. We'll get this tree to grow. I personally would rather not break down all the beautiful custom trees. You know, it's just part of the environment and I I can't make trees. I can barely make a house. Look at me. Not even cutting down a tree pro uh, appropriately. I mean, I need an axe. But no, no, I defy that mentality. I do what I want. I am the king of doing what I want. And I want to make an axe. Let's just make a stone axe right now. Gotta, gotta save that, uh... Gotta save the, the, the iron for some armor. Take on those skeletons downstairs in the basement in the depths of hell. In the depths. Let's see. We'll get, go down here. Just make a generic farm. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, four short. There we go. There you go. Did we get another tree or an apple? Oh, well, we got another tree at least. Put that up here. We'll take this. Ooh. Well, let me get in here. Boom. Now. Okay, I think we should at least build us a, uh, entrance or something. Let's see. Boom. Go right here. Sink in a little wider. Oh, no. Go. Boom. Now. We go in here and we don't have a sheep or anything. Well, mm, you know what? That's okay. We have 
we have something so much more important. We have our first diamond. Yeah, look at that beauty just right there. Spin me around, right round. Yeah, we got three of those. So, in theory, we could actually make a diamond pickaxe, but that I, I kind of don't want to do that until we can at least enchant. You know, I uh, would rather get an enchantment going. Then waste some diamonds like that now, but that is it today, folks. Ain't not the worst start. We got a little farm going. We got tree farm going. We got a diamond. We got uh, a decent mine. Um, I mean, being a custom map like this is uh, it makes sense that. Ores don't spawn as uh, natural as they would in generic Minecraft. But you know what? That's okay. That's kind of what we signed up for. Um, we will be exploring that map or that cave next time. We will be trying to find some sheep and uh, to get some wool. Maybe a good food supply. And, I mean, I found some cows, but I ain't leather you can do only so much with right now. And until we get sugar cane and other things, cows aren't going to be that uh, useful. Though their food at the stake is uh, quite, quite good. Um, so we got to figure out, you know, get our food under management and um, further explore that cave and... Uh, continue mining iron mostly so like I said uh, if you like this idea of going and making a new well, world on this um, map uh, um, please leave a like um, I personally think that the group Parlon has done an amazing job with the, their map so far. This map will be getting an update in the next uh, couple weeks. Um, that will introduce more caves and things like that. So I'll figure out how we can update the map. Oh. And uh, But I would love to hear your opinion and what you guys think we should build in this area a human settlement a city around the lake city on the lake you know just throw me ideas um again we're trying to build a fantasy world so we'll have all the fun stuff elves um dwarves humans so on and so forth so just again let me know what you think and where we should take this uh little area we started in um love hearing uh love hearing from you guys i'll read i'll end up reading as many comments as i possibly can and hopefully that's all of them so uh leave a like and a comment